welcome back. Uh, I think we all can agree not the nicest of days across the twin tiers, kind of a gloomy day, especially in the higher elevations where there's been thick fog for a good portion of this Thursday. Warm front kind of draped right over the area right now, separating cool, damp weather to the north and uh, pretty mild conditions just off to our south where much of Pennsylvania is into the 70s right now. Look at the temperature map in just a second, but we do have some showers and thunder showers associated with the warm front uh, moving through currently and then the actual cold front back over the Ohio Valley and central Great Lakes area and this will be coming through closer to midnight tonight. So it's going to stay unsettled at times for the next several hours with thunder. Certainly not out of the question. A couple downpours as well. We're noticing some of the heavier showers right along that warm front right now, especially over the southern Finger Lakes area from north central areas of uh, Steuben County from near Hornell and back towards the Avoca area and just north of Bath towards Hammondsport and then across the northern part of Schuyler County, just north of Watkins Glen, some pretty heavy downpours up towards the Hector area, and this is settling off towards the south and east. So again, a warm front nearby right now, uh, giving us the downpours in a few spots and separating the warm and cool air uh, right over our viewing area right now. And then the cold front comes through overnight tonight with another round of showers and thunderstorms. And then it looks like some improvement as we go through the day tomorrow. Some partial sunshine for the afternoon in the 60s, but then falling back tomorrow night as the cooler air works in behind the front. And it looks like a cool start to the upcoming weekend. We'll be tracking another area of low pressure on Saturday. That'll mainly stay to our south, though. So we're just going to stick with a dry forecast, although a mostly cloudy day Saturday. And uh, look for a little bit more of the way of sunshine on Sunday. Storm Prediction Center continues to give us a marginal risk for severe weather here in the Twin Tiers. It's one out of five on the scale, a little bit better chance farther off towards the west or the western southern tier where they're looking at a two out of five. A little bit better chance for some damaging wind gusts over the western southern tier, but it's those gusty winds, the primary threat with these thunderstorms that will be coming through tonight associated with the cold front. Here are the temperatures, 53 in Elmira. Look down towards the south and west. Bradford at 70, 78 right now in Youngstown. And a closer inspection of the Twin Tiers showing a pretty big difference just locally. Penyan and Watkins Glen, 48, but near 70 in Morris and in Countersport. So this warmer air trying to lift up towards the north and east. Definitely a tough day for the 5-degree guarantee when we're dealing with uh, temperature spreads of uh, 20 degrees just within our viewing area, but we're hoping for that warmer air to eventually win out. We'll be tracking the showers and thunderstorms tonight and uh, through the overnight period, but improving conditions for tomorrow. So that's good news. Spotty showers early, giving way to some more sunshine for the afternoon. Breezes pick up a little bit out of the west, and uh, we'll be looking at temperatures starting to cool off tomorrow night. Uh, stuck in the cloud cover for Saturday. Most of the shower should stay off to our south, but temperature Saturday similar to where we were today, only in the 50s. But take advantage of tomorrow. Tomorrow looking decent for the afternoon with temperatures in the 60s. For today, we forecast a high of 70. We'll see if we get close to it, but as of right now, 55, uh, the unofficial high. So if that holds, we'll donate $36 to our charity of the month. Showers and thunderstorms tonight. Temperatures rising a bit. 68 for tomorrow's five degree guarantee showers taper in the morning sunshine for the afternoon dry for the weekend a little bit cool to start though better weather for next week we'll get back into the 70s for wednesday and thursday it's been a while since i've seen all that color on your future cast you know it's a tough it's a tight gradient mm -hmm. with those temperatures again 40s over the finger lakes near 70 south of route six over the northern tier so that warmer air trying to win out but along that boundary we're getting the showers and thunderstorms all right, thanks, Joe. Thank you, Joe.